Shall the town of Hampton vote to discontinue E Street as a public way in accordance with the provisions of RSA 231-43, provided that the discontinuance shall be of no force and effect until every property owner abutting E Street signs a waiver to be prepared by the town attorney of any appeal under RSA 231-48? from such discontinuance and of all damages that could be sought under RSA 231-48 as a result of such discontinuance or until six months has elapsed after the vote to discontinue without any such appeal having been made, whichever comes first. Majority vote required. Recommended by the Board of Selectmen, four to one. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 38? Moved by Mr. Waddell. Is there a second? Seconded by Mr. Bean. Mr. Waddell, would you like to address Article 38? I'll pass it over to the town uh, manager. Mr. Welch. Mr. Moderator, uh, in doing our research on these streets on the, uh, the beach, what we found was that in July of 1899 that the Hampton Beach Improvement Company deeded over to um, the current owners or the, the previous owners of, of what is now uh, the casino, um, all the right and title except to E Street. So E Street actually is still owned by the town and it's actually still there. This eliminates that problem and eliminates a bunch of problems with uh, title on the property and things that have been done on the property before. We don't really need more streets. Uh, this will clear that up and the discontinuance will evenly divide E Street between the two abutting properties that are there now which are owned by the same party. So in essence, we're surrendering the title of that to the current owners of the casino property, and uh, that will be the end of East Street. All right. Thank you, Mr. Welch. Uh, Mr. Preston, you wish to be heard on Article 38. Thank you, sir. I'm, I'm surprised I had to learn that, that the town still owns that property, but, you know, I was, uh, frankly, I was very curious. Well, we'd want to discontinue something that doesn't exist. You know, I don't know how or why this came up, but that kind of explains it, Mr. Manager. I, I see the selectmen voted four to one. There was one person that dissented. I, I'm not sure why, but we'll, hopefully we'll find out. Um, I didn't know if the Board of Selectmen can change that recommendation before the meeting. I asked the moderator, and he thought it might be possible. We'll discuss that later. But... Today, we're missing one of our local historians, Arthur Moody. Arthur, if you're out there in TV land, a lot of people are thinking of you. I wish you were here to enlighten us as to what really happened to E Street. If anybody would know, it might be you. Regardless of the results of both Articles 37 and 38, I can guarantee you the sky will not fall. The situation has existed since 1897, 118 years, so let's not rush to a decision. I firmly believe that with the update of the transportation section of the master plan that Hampton is the progress of, that we should not vote to discontinue E Street. Presently, the HBAC has $375,000 under the management of DOT who has contracted with the firm called VHB to study traffic patterns at Hampton Beach. At the HBAC meeting, the Hampton Beach Area Commission meeting of October 25th, 2012, I had an appointment and I discussed the intersection of Brown Ave and Ashworth Ave as being the hub of Hampton Beach. People say the casino is the hot and I say the intersection behind it is the hub. I also stated that the casino made an entrance and an exit where East Street was supposed to be, that it would alleviate traffic on both Ashworth and Ocean Boulevard and probably improve access and egress to the casino property. There's also another issue with regard to public safety. Police and fire could access the casino properly easily and signalization could improve the situation. Where in the past, Hampton Fire Department went north on southbound Ashworth to access D Street. We might be able to straighten something like that out. I firmly believe we have the room to compromise and should not give up any leverage our town has to relieve traffic congestion at Hampton Beach. I would like to thank you all for your time and ask voters to vote no on 38. Maybe after we get all the parties to the table, 
we can revisit this next year. I'd like to ask the Board of Selectmen Chair Rick if I could possibly make an appointment at a selectman's meeting prior to the town meeting vote to further explain this subject. Before we discontinue, let's have impact, I mean, input, excuse me, from the Hampton Beach Area Commission, VHB, who's, on, who's the contractor studying it with DOT's management, the Hampton Beach Village District, the Planning Board, the Rockingham Planning Commission, and input from the Police, Fire, and Public Works, and also the Casino, and the general public. We've gone 118 years, more or less. This can wait another year. And let's work for the town of Hampton and get what we can get. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Mr. President. Ms. Talmack, would you like to be heard? Andy Stelmack, 488 High Street. I'm with Charlie on this, um, and I don't know if I should come back and talk about an amendment. Is there any way to sneak in here? The fact that you want to memorialize East Street, if you do happen to discontinue it, does that make any difference? Because on the, all the old maps of the beach and, and a lot of the deeds and everything, it does talk about East Street. Yeah, I, I, I don't. If you're saying and memorialize it, I think you just leave it as is. History records that it existed. It may, um, and so that that can't be changed. Um, so, uh, so I, I guess I'm left with no. Leave it, leave it as is. Okay. I don't. Um, there may be some opportunity in the future to recognize it if something were to happen to it. Okay, good. Thank you, all right. Mr. Jones. My understanding is that East Street is public property. And so we're going to give up public property for what? Nothing. I mean, what, do we, what does the town of Hampton get out of, the, get out of this? We're just giving away a piece, of, an asset, it seems to me. We should get something in return for it, shouldn't we? I'd vote no on this one. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Uh, Mr. Collins. Thank you, Pat Collins, Boar's Head. Uh, I'm a bit confused about this article. Uh, I'm not sure that I see a reason for this even happening. That street exists. It is simply happenstance, albeit over a long period of time, that the same building exists on either side of that street. That may not always be the case. We may not have one owner owning one piece of property bisected by that street. I see no reason to remove the street, uh, and I sincerely support Charlie Preston's request that, uh, at the very least, more study be involved here. Uh, I see no need for this at this point whatsoever. Thank you. I've got some people in line. Okay. Mr. Rice. I couldn't see him. Thank you, Mr. Moderator. Fred Rice, 15 Heather Lane. Um, East Street falls into the same category as the summer road or the winter road, whichever it is, to the fish houses. It's something that never really uh, hasn't existed in years and years and years. The only place where it exists right now is a pencil mark on, a, on old maps. To clean up these maps makes sense. I don't think that, uh, that the current owners of the casino and the casino property uh, between uh, D and F Street uh, want to have any part of their, their title clouded by some obscure reference to a, to a paper street that never ever really existed to begin with. It doesn't exist as if this was a street that was there and we're now taking it away. This never, was, never existed anyway. Uh, the casino was built before any of these things. There was a provision made to have all of these lettered streets all the way down the length of the beach, but this one was the one that never existed. So to, to say that we need to keep it, I think is like, I think we ought to keep swords and uh, things like that and, uh, you know, uh, sorcery fires and things like that. A lot of things that are historical that are nice, but uh, this is not one of them. And I think that we ought to clean up our, our paperwork and get this done. If you want to put a post there along Ashworth Avenue that says, this was the location of the former paper street 
is if 99% of the people don't know what a paper street is, uh, this is the location of a former paper street called E Street. It's never done anything. It's never achieved any fame for anything. Uh, so I, I think that we just need to move this thing along and uh, get rid of the E Street designation. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rice. Ms. Wolsey. Yes, Mr. Moderator, it is a refreshing concept that the government makes sense. However, I will say that I absolutely agree with Mr. Preston. I was the no vote on this article. I am still the no vote. Act in haste, repent at leisure. Mr. Preston, would you like to speak? There's no one else who wants to be heard for the first time on, on Article 38. I'll, I'll make it very brief, Mr. Moderator. Um, I have no problem with articles going forward as written. I think that's the way things should be done. And I just would ask the voters to vote no. And we can come back and revisit this next year. But in, in this year's time, it's just a very time-sensitive thing with what's going on with trying to do what we're doing at Hampton Beach. And um, we can work this out. And we can work a good deal. And we can get easements down there that work for both sides, for everybody. There is room for compromise, and we can, and we can do this right. Thank you very much, Mario. Thank you, Mr. Preston. Anyone else wishing to be heard on Article 38? Seeing none, Article 38 will appear on the ballot as printed.